Well, what excites me is is getting back as a community and um, worshiping together, and and just the enthusiasm that that people have um, because of the things that we did um, to enhance worship and and uh, make sure that people were still experiencing, you know, the community of, of God and, and the Spirit of God. I think that uh, it really benefited a lot of things, and I think there's a lot of things going forward that are really going to be helpful to our congregation and, and to, our, to our worship and, and to the members and I think we'll be able to include more people because of that. You have since become uh, our first online member at CPC. How did that happen? It's true. Um, I, I never imagined that I would still be attending services, you know, two years after starting. Um, certainly never imagined that I would actually become a, a full-fledged member of CPC, but um, I just kept going to the services and I really enjoyed, you know, everything from the music to the sermons to especially the people that I was interacting with on YouTube, you know, via the live chat. We really just sort of became our own little community. And of course, during the pandemic, everybody was at home. So there was a fairly large crowd of us there. I had the opportunity a couple months ago to join officially. Um, and I decided that I wanted to do that because i it's really the people more than anything that, that make Christ Presbyterian Church. I just feel very um, loved and cared for and at home here. We came to this church because um, we saw a social media post that showed that we would be welcome in this church and that then we have the chance to look at the website and the online resources to see, you know what, this church is not just gathering, but they're doing a lot of things in the community, very active. And that's exciting for us because I think your faith needs to have an outlet to show that it's real and, and that's what this church was doing. So when we first came in the doors, we were instantly greeted with multiple levels of welcome. This church is about having Christ in the center where there are no walls. And I think that's a great thing about the CBC. I, I love the music. That was something that drawn my attention. I love the concept that they have contemporary and classic. And I love the sense of community and family. And you know, so I, I feel comfortable here. I woke up. Sunday morning ready to come to church and found that I couldn't move my legs and right away as far as I know because I don't have a very good memory of it Cheryl and Jessica were there um, you know talking to the doctors um, talking to me uh, I spent uh, a while in the ICU and then I spent time in uh, an acute care facility and then finally uh, the UW rehab and through that whole time I heard from so many people uh, at CPC. My sister and other people said, you know, you have a great faith community. They are really praying for you and keeping you in their thoughts. And the giant basket of cards that I have at home is a testimony to that. CPC has gone from being, you know, the place I work to my extended family. And I could not be more grateful for the, the powerful um, encouragement and prayers that people have given on my behalf. It made all the difference. CPC has been uh, providing food and serving at Luke House for 33 years. When I say for 33 years, I mean every single month for 33 years. It's been a longstanding commitment uh, that's involved a lot of dedication. Uh, even through the pandemic when we weren't serving in person, uh, CPC was providing funds for us to uh, do carry out meals. Uh, now we're back in action after COVID and serving meals. Yeah, the Madison Community Fridge is a very small uh, organization. Our church uh, looked into it and decided that they could put the fridge on our property. And so it was moved here late last summer. People in the community put food into the fridge uh, for other community people to use, to take out uh, as they need it. Well, the main motivation is what I read in scripture. Jesus asks us to, uh, to care for the poor and providing food for the hungry is certainly uh, one on the list. And this is uh, a very easy 
one to do. And it's not something I got to do, it's something I get to do. I want, I want to do it. We don't got to do it, we get to do it. Yeah. I like that, that's good. One of the things I've been thinking a lot about recently is how much I'm grateful for the health of our congregation. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I think a lot of that is something that we enjoy day to day working together as a staff, which I'm really grateful for. Um, but it's not a given that church communities will experience an, uh, a great sense of health and vitality in all seasons. And uh, many of us have been part of churches and perhaps this one in seasons where that's been harder to feel and, and enjoy. Um, but one of the reasons why I think there's uh, health here and the health that we can continue to cultivate is because we have this value of really learning each other as individual unique people mm -hmm. and establishing these relationships of trust where we can talk openly and honestly with each other. And in a congregation of many hundred people, that can't happen between every single person. Mm -hmm. um, but if all of us have a few people maybe many people with whom we can talk openly and honestly with, if on our committees, we can continue to pray together and with and for each other in difficult times. Um, if we trust that when we make mistakes that there'll be um, opportunities to offer forgiveness and receive forgiveness, that is just so valuable and helpful. Um, life is so hard. There are many things in life that are hard, but to come to a church where you can experience that kind of health is a really valuable thing. And I've, part of that health, I think, is also watching people who are willing not to just be in their little relational cluster or bubble, mm -hmm. but go beyond that and uh, really enfold newer people. You know, I hear about uh, older members, longtime members who've invited somebody that they've just met over for a meal or something like that, where that is so welcoming and that really builds a sense of community. Yeah, I think that sense of relationship is absolutely critical to a healthy congregation. I think something else is having a healthy congregation doesn't mean everybody agrees with everybody else, yeah, it, yeah. but it means we all respect the fact that we may bring different viewpoints to the table and we can talk about them and then there's grace yes. for the way those disagreements are handled. Mm -hmm. yeah. And boy, all of us need those spaces in yeah. this kind of environment yeah. in our social yeah. and political yeah. life. Yeah, a healthy church can also be a healing model for how we relate to our families and our friends and our neighbors in right. that kind of way. Right.